Hi friends, welcome back. Let's continue with the intermediate code uh, in the compiler design. So in the previous video, I explained what exactly the intermediate code was. Now let's see the different forms of intermediate code. The intermediate code can be represented in uh, three forms. One is the abstract syntax tree, polish notation and three address code. Okay, so now first let's see what is this abstract syntax tree. So this abstract syntax tree uh, or more compact than a parse tree. The first thing is uh, abstract syntax tree or more compact than a parse tree. So you know the parse tree just taking the values and representing in the form of uh, taking the expression and representing in the form of a tree. So this abstract syntax tree is more compact than a parse tree and can be easily used by the compiler and can be easily used by compiler okay so let's take a simple example for this abstract tree the example let me take a star b plus c so this is an ex expression okay so you uh, i'm going to represent this expression as star is having the highest precedence so just take star a and here in the b plus c the plus is the operator here and the operands for this is so this is a representation of tree that is a path tree so this abstract syntax tree can be represented like so this is a path tree you know that so i want to make a uh, abstract tree because abstract trees are more compact than the parse tree and it can be easily used by the compiler how the compilers are easily using this uh, abstract syntax tree rather than parse tree because this abstract syntax tree is represented as represented as it's just like a memory locations just taking star and the stack so this is A and this is represented with the plus and these are the operands. So this is an abstract syntax tree for that expression. So it can be easily understand by the compiler rather than the parse tree. Okay. Now let's see the second one. What is the second one? There is a polish notation. The polish notation uh, are of three types. One is infix, prefix, postfix. Infix, prefix and postfix. Okay. So infix means you, you already know. It's just uh, an operator in between the operands. You call it as in, infix. A plus B let us take. Prefix. Pre means before plus AB. Post, after the operator. You have to target only on the operators. Okay. If the operator present in between the operands, then it is in. Pre means before. The operator has to be placed before. Post means after. AB plus. So this is how you are going to represent this Polish notation. Infix, prefix and postfix. Okay. So let's take one of, one of the postfix expression. Let me explain the postfix notation. Postfix notation. Okay. So the postfix notation. It is useful form of intermediate code. The first thing is it is a useful form of intermediate code if the given language is an expression. If you have to remember that the given language is if it is re represented in the form of expression then it is useful for intermediate code it is also called as suffix suffix notation or reverse polish notation reverse polish notation okay the postfix can also be called as suffix notation or Po reverse po uh, polish notation so the postfix notations is a linear representation of syntax tree so in this let me write those points 
we are talk, discussing the postfix in the polish notation uh, we are discussing about the postfix notation the postfix notation is a linear linear representation of syntax tree in this notation uh, any expression can be written unambiguously so without the parentheses so let's see the example again okay so in the uh, i said if you take x plus y it can be represented as x y plus so that is a post fix we are just placing the operator post so let's take in the terms of productions let's take the example for the po post fix notation the productions for this is the productions or e determines e1 operator e2 operator may be anything plus minus divide whatever it may be so e determines e1 and e determines id so this is a production so then what is the semantic rule for this production semantic rule so we are talking in terms of sdt the polish uh, postfix notation in terms of sdt okay so postfix notation e dot code is equal to so you have to place the operand operator before the operands so e1 dot code value whatever you want you can take e1 dot code slash e2 dot code slash operator okay and this e dot code is equal to e1 dot code and finally e dot code is equal to id so this is a way you are going to represent the postfix notation in terms of sdt the productions and the actions for that productions okay so let me take simple example for this postfix notation again just i want to show you how uh, the operands and operators are c minus d plus e plus f by g so this uh, postfix we already seen already learned in the data structures everything so we know the precedence or brackets is having the higher precedence next into and divide is having the next precedence plus and minus is having the next precedence so like this the precedence is decreasing so first concentrate on the parenthesis okay so just concentrated on parenthesis z is equal to a b minus so just remove the parenthesis and make it as a postfix star c d minus plus e plus f by g so just look about uh, now focus on this parenthesis a b minus star c d minus plus so just remove this parenthesis e this is having the higher precedence so e f g slash plus so next concentrate on here the final z is equal to a b minus uh, c d star next sorry c d minus star e f g slash plus plus so this is a postfix notation postfix notation for the given grammar thank you